everyone, it's Angela here at Our Retro Reflections and welcome to the Clear Glass Collab. And this collab is hosted by Beth at Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties, Katie from Vintage and Vinyl, and Dolores from Miss Dam, that's D-A-M, Jewelry. So thanks ladies for hosting this fun collab. I can't wait to show you what I have and also maybe a few home decor ideas as well. So if you're new to our channel, um, my husband and I do this kind of on the side. Um, this is actually my full-time job now, both as an Etsy seller, vintage Etsy seller, and I also enjoy doing YouTube videos. My husband has another job, but he does get to come along with me while we thrift. So a lot of the videos are of he and I on our thrifting adventures. I do thrift hauls, and then I also show some home decor ideas. So welcome again to our channel. I hope you would be willing to subscribe and also like and give a comment too. So let's get started. So as you can see behind me here, I have this beautiful collection of glass. Now, this glass was actually given to me by my stepmom, and this is all Fostoria. So to be really honest, I am not a fancy glass person. I do like colored glass. I do like some depression glass, but clear glass has been a little bit of a challenge for me because we have a more casual house. So what I'd like to do is show you how you can take this fancy glass and make it maybe a little bit more casual or take some of the pieces that you may have inherited and mean a lot to you, but incorporate them in your home decor if you have a more casual home like me. So first of all, I'm going to talk to you about some of the pieces that I have, and then I will go into some of the, the decoration ideas. So my stepmom actually gave me these books on Fostoria when she gave me the other pieces and it is extremely helpful when finding different patterns, um, but they list all of the Fostoria patterns in here and then they have the pictures in the back, they have um, the collection, the collector books, it shows you a lot of the different patterns here. So this has been really helpful. And also to know what some of the pieces even are or what they're supposed to be used for because we just don't always have formal dinners anymore. So um, what I'm going to do is read to you what, it, what the book actually says about the pieces that we have and um, show you each individual piece as we go as well. And then stay tuned for the decor ideas at the end as well. These pieces are absolutely stunning, you all. So uh, the pieces that we have are called Navarre. So it's the Navarre Fostoria pattern. And this is what the book actually says about it. From first to last, formerly designed Navarre is without question Fostoria's most successful etched pattern. Designed by Edgar Batome, Navarre illustrated detailed handwork involved in producing the same design on different sized items at a time when photographic reduction and enlargement were not yet used. Wow. Slightly diverse details of the etching on various size items illustrate the complexity of the plate etching work. Artistry was achieved, or sorry, artistry so achieved demonstrates the willingness of the Fostoria company to extend designs beyond the concerns of cost. It is said to be a classic example of good design. High praise from John Seppel, himself a former design director at Fostoria. In 1977, the Picard China Company and Fostoria advised a companion dinnerware line. The late nostalgia program production extended the line to include new items. 
The line was sold to Lennox in 1982 and they continued to produce the late stems in crystal pink and blue. These are obviously the crystal patterns. Okay, so here are a few ideas on decorating with the clear glass. Um, I'm going to start out with this small dish here. And then take a more modern piece, like this candle is just from Bath, Bath and Body Works. And it just kind of gives it a little bit of an anchor and just it kind of takes it up to the next level. Using that same dish, I'm going to take this little kind of a bell jar that I used in one of our recent collabs with uh, Carol at My Blessed Nest and I could place that on there. I have this little vintage Napco Angel for January. Now how cute is that? And then just add some battery powered candles. The smaller plates are also great just to add a few of the little knickknacks that you might have. So uh, this is a little hobnail jar, a little vase that I got just from a craft store. Obviously you could get one that is actually vintage and that would be even better. So we'll put that there. A battery powered candle. And then I have this little coal port deer that was my husband's. If you watch our channel quite often, you'll know that I use this cake stand uh, quite a bit. And so I'm going to use it today and I'm just going to lay over this little piece of fabric. And now I'm going to use the small Fostoria plate. So see, I'm sort of incorporating something a little bit more modern with something older. And then I'm going to add my mason jar and some, some winter greens. So this just kind of takes it up a notch, adds kind of another layer, another base, and it also incorporates something that maybe you receive from someone that you love in with your own home decor. Okay, this is truly the centerpiece that I have had on our dining room table here. Um, so I have that, um, runner and then I have this long tray that I got at a craft store and this worked really well for Christmas too it's just kind of the perfect size for our oval table and then my mother-in-law got us this great uh, vase or lantern or whatever you want it to be for Christmas so I'm going to add that there and then I have my candlesticks that my mom gave me. Now these were believed from her mother. I don't know how well you can see those. And so I just have these placed on either side. And now I will add a few little things and see what the final product looks like.
So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed some of my tips on how to use your clear glass. And thank you again to all of our hosts for hosting this fun collab. Now go ahead and move over to the next person on the playlist and get more ideas. Thanks again. Bye-bye.